Oh yeah, Stella, today is a good day. Yes, it is. We've got my new trout panfish fishing rods. As you guys know from a previous video, I've been having a lot of trouble with my finesse rods. So I went online based on your suggestions and bought three brand new rods right here. Two from Amazon, then one, look at that, right from Japan. Pretty excited about that one. But before we go into this, let's go ahead and take a quick look out here at my current rod collection. My garage is uh, a little bit messy, but we'll clean her up. I have a lot of fishing rods, as you guys know, but the vast majority of them are bass fishing rods. Quick pan right here. The oldest ones are my G Loomis spinning rod, which is about 17 or 18 years old. And the second oldest would be my G Loomis bait casting rod, which is 16 years old. So I keep all the stuff out here that isn't really temperature sensitive. Then for the stuff that I want to keep as pristine as possible, I put that over here in my dining room, which isn't used for eating. It's used as my secondary fishing supply room. Here's the stuff that I pretty much use uh, daily right here. But then over here, we got some soft plastics and inside of this cabinet is my pride and joy. Let's open her up. Ooh. Right here, my fishing reel collection. This is almost all of them. I believe I have 21 in here right now. If you guys wanna be brave enough, try to guess the name of each and every one of them. I'll do a quick, quick pan right here. All right, there you go. The final two. And my two oldest in here are gonna be my Team Daiwa Steve's, which is about 13 years old. Then my Shimano Antares DC, the original, which is um, 16 years old. Then my oldest spinning reel would probably be about 17 years old, but it's broken now, so it is no longer with us. What's going on over here? Here's some grumbling. What is this stuff? Go get it. Go get it, Stella. All right, let's go open those reels up. All right, Rob, unboxing time. Here we go. Let's go with uh, this guy right in front of me. Huh? Uh, yeah. So, if you guys looked at my rods, I've used pretty much a lot of the rod companies on the market. Not every one, but I've used a lot. One of them that I've never really used, right here. St. Croix. I've never really used their rods, I don't know why, but in the past, I've always heard that they've uh, been pretty comparable to G Loomis in terms of uh, quality and uh, build of the rod. In fact, of all the rods that I've used, a lot of rod companies, as you guys know, a lot of them spend too much money on marketing, too much money trying to advertise their product or sponsor people, and as a result, they don't really make the best rod. To be honest, there's only two rod companies I can think of that have made an excellent, superb rod. And don't worry so much about advertising because they know if they build a quality product, people will hear about it. Those two companies are one, Dobbins, amazing bass fishing rods. And two, they kind of discontinued now, but before G Loomis was bought out by Shimano, G Loomis made some probably the best rods in the history of fishing. So this first one we've got is a ultralight six foot nine inch ultralight rod let me go ahead and show you guys hopefully you can see that right there ah. Mm. Ah. Ah. this rod is a six foot four inch light power rod right there and finally we've got rod number three Interestingly, I've heard of pretty much every rod company on the market, but I have not heard of this one before. And a lot of you guys were recommending it, so I was like, all right, you know what? Let's give it a shot. We've got the Major Craft Ben K rod. We're gonna save this guy for another day. We're gonna unbox this guy when it's time to go traveling. Until then, 
We made it. 3.15, 31 degrees. No one out here. Let's go. Waiter's on. Let's grab my new rod. We gotta get going fast. Look, that sun's already coming down a little bit. If you guys read right there, look at that. Can you see that? No parking after dark. I do not want to get a ticket here, so I'm gonna grab this and uh, let's head down. You guys see down there? That's where we're gonna be fishing. We gotta make our way down. It's gonna be a little bit of a hike. There, there's a bajillion steps. I'm not kidding you guys. There are literally over 300 steps right here that I have to walk down. 300 steps. I mean, look. Look at those falls. Those are like some freaking 1,000 foot falls right there. Almost there. Last step. Woo! All right. Some graffiti. Look at those falls right here. Just look at that. Those are some powerful freaking falls right there. Was that sign there last time I was here? All right, well, I'll be extra careful. Huh, alley-oop. Ah. ah. I mean, there's actually a path right here, so it's not like it's crazy, crazy dangerous. Woo, okay, all right. All right, getting a little rocky. This is definitely where the rock slide could happen. There we go, baby. We made it. So you guys see these ripples? Way too fast. We're looking for an area that's much slower, like all the way down there, those riffles slow down. That's where we're gonna start. My hands are already freezing. Woo, these waders are not insulated. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got. 41 degrees, all right, I'll take that. Not bad. Now, if it was stock trout, I'd probably have to fish a jig really slow or I'd have to fish power bait. But these wild trout, I think they'll still hit a moving bait even in 41 degree water. We'll find out. Little gold spinner, where you at? This is my last eighth ounce gold spinner. I will right, we'll start off with this. So the first thing I'll say about this new rod, everything feels great, it feels balanced. This handle though, is gonna take some getting used to. Look at this handle. Its design is very different from any rod I've ever used. The reason why they made it like this is so that you can feel the blank right here. This will give you maximum sensitivity when your fingers are wrapped around it, your, your finger is literally right on this blank right here. Any vibration from the tip of the rod goes straight down and it's uninhibited by any of this stuff and just all the feedback right into your hand, ultra sensitive. Watch this guys. You guys see that rock at 12 o'clock? It's creating a current break. I'm gonna cast my bait right behind it. I'm gonna nail a trout right here. I'm calling it. That's a perfect spot for a trout to be hanging out. Third time to charm. I'm gonna cast a little farther down from that rock. Still in the current break though. Just covering some water. There, I called it. Third time to charm, baby. That's a little brown. Wild trout number, no! Oh, this I mean, I got six pound fluorocarbon line, a nice soft tip. I mean, there's some ice on my tip, but there's really nothing else I could have done there. That was just bad luck. Ooh. Whoa. Jeez. Ah, my hand. Woo. That's a fast current right there, boys. I took one step out to this main current section. Almost got swept from under my feet. Gotta be very careful when you're waiting, especially in this very cold water. It's not that deep, fortunately, but if it was deep and really cold, this is how people die when they're waiting. Because they get they get sucked in, then they can't move because they cramp up from the cold water. Nah, I can't do it. It's too dangerous, guys. Even I know when to say no. You guys can see there's no bank. I would have to wade right in the river. It's too deep, too fast. I won't be able to make it. I, it'll be really hard. Look, even coming back the small amount, I'm struggling. I, it's going it's going past my knees up to my thighs right now and it's really fast oh really fast and strong so new game plan we're gonna focus on from there all the way up to the falls and we're just gonna try to make it happen I'm pretty confident this bait will work check this out we got two options the gulp minnow great scent but no action and these wild trout they like a little action so 
what we're gonna hit him with is the one inch Kitek. Oh yeah, these are beautiful. All right, what color? Let's hit him with this uh, silver bait fish color. Oh yeah. Is that a perfect bait fish imitation or what? I'm feeling real confident with this bait. Doesn't cast as far as a spinner, but cast far enough. I just want this bait to drift naturally with the current. Let that tail just slowly wiggle in the water. Make it look like a nice, easy wounded minnow for these hungry brown trout. There he is, came back for it. Just missed him on the last cast. All right, come on. This rod is doing a great job absorbing the paint. Oh, this is a big one. This is big for this spot. This is about two minutes in switching his bait. I don't know if I should lift him or not. It's not that, you know, we're gonna go for the lift. All right, ready? Oh no, don't go on the rocks. Go, let's go! Dude, the reason why I'm so pumped, if you guys saw my last trout video, oh, I've got to wet my hand, damn it. Puh. 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 All right, look at that, nice and wet. Protect the slime coating. Beautiful trout right here. These guys are very fragile, so you wanna be very gentle with them. Look at that, beautiful trout. I don't know what kind it is. I'm, I'm assuming it's a brown trout. Could be a brook, comment below. I honestly have no clue, but we're gonna let this beautiful fish go. All right, buddy. Thank you, oh, he's ready. Woo, there she goes. What did I tell you guys? You cannot go wrong with any size Kitek. One inch Kitek, perfect for trout. It even caught me my personal best calico bass in California, 5.2 pounds. So this bait holds a very special place in my heart. Uh, let's go for number two. Oh my God, I got another. What the heck? I, oh, jeez, oh. I was about to drill the bait in. I got hit again. This is like two casts after. Look at it. The trout grabbed the tail. And it's, there ain't no creek chubs in here, let me tell you that. The trout bit the tail right off. Yep, all right, we need a new bait. There he is, next cast. All right, I found the magic bait. They're schooled up right here, right where they should be. This guy's a little guy. This is the average size trout you're gonna catch out of here. My hand's still wet. This guy actually looks different too. This is definitely, this is a different species, no doubt. This looks like a brown trout maybe and the last one was a brook. I don't know, guys just identify it for me. Fish one, fish two, what do we got here? You get a normal release, no special release for you buddy. Off he goes. You know, I'm just gonna keep the trout slime on my hand, so whenever I catch more, I can keep them protected. Woo! Let's put the backpack down. We are back in the hot zone. Uh, do I wanna go in that water? Man, these, these boots are such garbage. No insulation, just little thin rubber. My toes are freezing right now. Ah, uh, okay. We're in it to win it. Woo! My circulation has improved though. My hands and feet get less cold because I take a certain supplement to improve circulation. All right, there's a rock. There's a hot spot. This is it. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit right there. Come back, baby. 100% that was a hit. First cast. All right, let it drift back, over, back in the hot zone. There he is. He's, oh! God, they're so freaking stacked right there. It's incredible. Oh, I skipped it. I will right, we'll fish that. There he is. Damn. Come back, come back. Come back, baby. There he is. Got him. Came back for it. Dude, I'm getting hit like every cast. Look at that. Look, get out of the current, buddy. Get out of the current. It's a good fish. That's a good trout. That's a better than average trout. Beautiful trout. I was bringing him over here. I got you. I got him. Woo! Another beauty. Freezing hand. Oh, he got hooked almost in the eyeball. Now we're gonna save you, buddy. You need that eye to catch, catch your prey. Oh, he's good. Another beautiful trout, same species as that second one. I'll let you go. Quick release, out of the water, less than 10 seconds. 
Off she goes. Woo! It's actually absurd how many trout are stacked up behind that perfect current break. I mean, it just looked so good. I'm, I'm not that surprised, but it's just awesome to see in real life. Like you read about this kind of thing in textbooks and stuff, but when you actually see it in person, it's so freaking awesome. <laughs> 